Hey, St. Andrew's parents. This is Dan Tarrant uh, from St. Andrew Catholic Church right here in Newtown. And I am so excited about our time that we're going to get to have together. Uh, I'm so excited because, honestly, I enjoy spending time with you guys even more than I enjoy spending time with your kids. Because I know that if we as parents parent in the right way, our kids are going to come closer to God. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this Sunday is, oh, my goodness, another thing I have to go to. I promise you that this will not be another thing you have to go to. This is going to be an event where you get to sit back, relax, put your feet up, and reflect on what's going on in your life. And in the process, grow a little bit closer to God and God's purposes for you and your family. And I promise that that hour that you give to us is going to give you a peace and a joy in the midst of all the crosses you're carrying. So let me give you a little bit of a tour of what we're going to discuss this coming Sunday. So I'm just going to grab my camera and just kind of walk you through it. Welcome to my office, first of all. <laughs> and this coming Sunday, we're going to talk about how what God ultimately wants is to be the beginning and the end. And how he is not the alpha and the omega. Things just kind of get messed up at home. You know, it's funny. We do all these great things for our kids. But when Jesus Christ is not the center, all those things kind of just fall apart. And when Jesus Christ is the center, what we discover is that ultimately the most important thing is not the white picket fence. The most important thing actually is just love. The kind of love that Jesus Christ gave us on the cross. Now, I don't know about you, but finding time and the strength to give that kind of love does not come easy to me. I feel sometimes like God is like this huge brick that I just can't fit into my busy schedule and I just can't just like I can't fit it into this busy jar full of all the sand and all the other details of my kids lives and we're going to talk about how you can fit that brick into this jar while still fitting in everything else that God wants you to fit in the jar as well like homework and sports and even just hanging out on the couch and being a family you know sometimes I think we ask well what's God's plan for me and we think it's this big lofty crazy thing you know what I'm certain is God's plan for you right now? God's plan for you right now is just to love the people around you well and to love him too in the process. You see, at the end of the day, there are all kinds of things that we can do and all kinds of things that we can have our kids pursue. But at the end of the day, if we want real enduring peace, we have to ask ourselves one simple question. Would this sign fit me? Is God at work in me? Not am I perfect, not am I sinless, not do I have all the theological answers, but is God actually working in my life? And in the end, what that really comes down to is answering the question of, am I the chess player or am I the chess piece? You see, Jesus Christ wants you to be the chess piece, and he wants to be the chess player in your life. And if you feel like you're getting burnt out and you just can't keep the fire burning in your, in your home and in your love for your family, perhaps it's because you're burning the candle the wrong way. Perhaps it's because you're burning the candle without allowing Jesus Christ to be the chess player, without allowing God to actually work in your life, without allowing God to be who he is, the Christ or the King of your life. And so I'm excited about this Sunday. I'm excited about the time we're going to have together to talk about being a chess piece for God instead of a chess player, the person who has to have all the answers. We're going to talk about not being perfect but simply allowing God to have a bigger role in our lives at home. We're going to talk about avoiding burnout and burning the candle the right way, which is really God's way. And at the end, if we do it all the right way, we're going to find balance and peace. Instead of feeling like our whole lives are disheveled and disordered, just like this whole pile of pans and pots, you're going to find that if you do things God's way and you put him first and you make him the king of your life, everything will fall into place in time. And so no, our time together should not be a waste of your time. It's going to be an opportunity for you to reconnect with yourself, with God's vision for your family, and the personal relationship with God that you were always meant to have. And if you do, you're going to end up with the family that you were always meant to have. It won't be perfect, it won't be sinless, and it might not be the white picket fence that you were looking for, but it'll be yours. And it'll be not just your family, but the family God intended to give you the whole time.